Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been on a makeup hiatus for a while again. I had all that sickness in December and now I've had the worst breakout of my entire life. This thing is what's left and this was the biggest, most horrible thing I have ever had growing on my face in my life. It's over a week old. You should have seen it, you know, several days ago. It's, it's still a horror, but I feel like I need to get on with my life and film and wear makeup again. And I think it was a foundation that did this too. I'm afraid to say I think it was the new Dior foundation. They have a new glow foundation. I tried it out. And the next day I got this and two other smaller ones. So I am trying to move on with my life here. Today we have a glitter video. It is the glitter video. So many things have been coming out lately with glitter going on. Glitter, glitter, glitter. I've picked up a lot of them and I want to show them to you. I don't have any makeup on today because I want to do my eyes for you guys with some of these new Tarte Sea Glass eyeshadows and they're liquid eyeshadows. I bought a set of them and then I bought an extra one that I just happened to like. The little set is called the Mermaid Shine Metallic Sea Glass Liquid Eyeshadow Set and these are all metallic shades. There are minis. They're very cute and I do like the packaging on them. The, the lids on them are pretty. Look at that fade there. And here are your four colors. It's very confusing because there's another color that I bought separately, and it is a full size, and it has the same name as one of these, but it's a totally different color. So, it's very strange. This is the full size one that I bought. It is the Sea Glass Liquid Eyeshadow, and it has this beautiful lid on it. This one is called Night Dive. What's confusing is that in these minis, there is another one in here called Night Dive, and it looks totally different, and it is this dark brown right here. Out of these little four minis, we have Night Dive, Una Noche, Sweet Life, and Speed Boat. These are a lot like the Stila Glitter and Glows. Some of them are a little sheerer, and some of them are, you know, strong enough that you can use them as maybe sort of a base of a lid color. Here are your swatches. So this is the Night Dive in the full size. This one's very sheer. Um, I can see this as a topper. I can't really see it as a lid color. This is the other Night Dive shade, and that's what I'm going to use on my lid today. This one's Una Noche, Speed Boat, and then Sweet Life. I'm going to apply a couple of these live for you guys, and then we'll get into some glittery lip products. And I have a glittery highlighter that is blowing my mind. I'm going to do a separate video just on it. Okay, when I'm putting on a glitter color like this, I like to just put it straight on my lid. I don't know why. I just don't feel like I want to put a primer on there. I feel like it just adhere, adheres nicely onto the lid. So I'm going to leave my lid bare and I'm just going to put primer in the crease and the outer corner and up to my brow. I'll also check in, check, check. I'll also check in later with you guys to see how this wears, if it cracks or crumbles or flakes. Okay, it's gonna be kind of dark, isn't it? So let's do this night dive, the brown one. I guess because it's a metallic, that's why it looks totally different than the night dive that is not a metallic, I don't know. And I'm just gonna put this on my lid. This one is not thinning out and streaking as I'm putting it on. Some of the other colors in this little set were kind of thinning as I was swatching them. Okay, I started out using the Pat McGrath Labs Bronze Seduction Palette on the rest of my eye, and I just didn't like the way it was going on. Um, the crease color that I put on, the inner crease color I put on is very draggy, and that's what Pat McGrath Labs does to me. Her mattes get really draggy on me. So I ended up using the Wet n Wild palette, one of my new Wet n Wild palettes. I still have to do a video on these. This is my Glamour Squad, and it's one of their newer ones. So right now, I'm going to put in my outer corner some of the black matte. Sadly enough, I like my $4.99 palette. I like the mattes in it better than my Pat McGrath Labs palette. So just putting a little of that black matte in there, what I ended up doing was a Pat McGrath Labs color in my inner corner. And then I buffed that out with this transition color from this palette. This is a sad video today. And then doing this in my outer corner and then the very outer corner, some of that black color. 
Okay, and going up under my brow bone with this lightest color here in this little palette. I'm going to do a separate video on these, I promise. It just, they keep getting mixed in with my regular videos because these are such nice palettes. Okay, you guys, if you want to see a shiny liquid jelly highlighter, stay tuned. I'm going to show you this one and all the colors that it is available in. It will blow your mind. And yes, I'm sitting here putting it on top of makeup, full makeup, and it does not dissolve it. And I'm going to dot just a little bit of this Sweet Life color in my inner corner. It's a little um, it's a little peachy to show you what it kind of looks like on in this glitter video here. That's good at getting, um, it's more precise than I had would have thought with this little applicator. Okay, you guys finished glitter eye product. To carry on with the whole glitter theme, I'm going to show you a couple of new glitter lipsticks that have come out. Ciate has come out with the Glitter Storm lipsticks and they come in the prettiest glittering package. Um, I will put this on my lips for you guys. I'll also have another lipstick to show you and some more liquid eyeshadows. It's all glitter today. So Ciate, the color I have is called Spark. You are going to, this is going to blow your mind if you're a glitter fan when you see this tube. First of all, here's the tube. Yeah. Gorgeous. This is shiny. Sometimes these um, glitter tubes can be rough feeling. This is a very smooth one. Okay, wait till you see this. It's going to blow your mind. It is dazzling, okay? There are several shades in this. Most of them are, you know, brighter than I would go. This is kind of the most subdued one. Now the problem is though, here's the tip of it. The part that you actually put on your lip. And it is not glitter, it is more just a smooth metallic. So I've got you zoomed in, I'm going to put this on my lip. It is just, it's just a smooth metallic. I guess it's got some glitter particles in it. It's a very light metallic peach. It's not, it's got a little pink in it. It's not a real flattering color for me. Let me put it on my lips. But that though, but that. It's very sheer. It's very orange. It has the same very strong vanilla smell as the MAC lipsticks. It's not really glittery. It made it into my video because of the um, overspray on the outside of the lipstick bullet, but it is not especially glittery. Next glitter item from Bite Beauty. The color I have is called Rose Glacé. These are the new Crystal Cream Shimmer Lip Crayons, and it comes in a tube like this. This is the kind that swivels up from the bottom. I'll show you on the back of my hand first. This one's a pinker than that previous one. This is going to be sort of a stiffer, drier formula. It's not super creamy like the rest of their lipsticks. It's a little stiffer because they are trying to do a glitter in there. There's a metallic background and then there's a little bits of gold glitter in there. So I will take this color off and put the Rose Glossé on. That glitter storm left behind a lot of glitter on my lips when I took it off. I'm, I didn't see that much glitter in the product when I had it on my lip. Oh, new glitter from Bite. It smells wonderful. Oh, it's like an orange. Seeing occasional flecks of glitter, but not really an overall glitter glitter out of that one. Okay, more liquid eyeshadows. So what is up with this shade Mystere from Stila? Stila came out with this shade Mystere liquid eyeshadow. They came out with a whole line of them and they're very, very different looking in the package. They're very swirly. I have two shades. One is called Spiritual and that's what this one looks like. So see that big blob of burgundy under there? It's like a white with gold and then there's that blob of sort of a burgundy-ish color down there. Let me show you this on the back of my hand. This one is going to be better as a topper. It's not going to give you a lot of background or opacity. You can see on the back of my hand it is a very light, lustrous sort of white gold. The other color I have is called Charmed. There are so many of these that are just absolutely gorgeous. 
I would love to get the whole line, but again, I feel like some of these are good sheer toppers, like this one. This next one comes out a little more opaque, and it's called Charmed. Charmed is very marbly, and Charmed is very pink. Wait till you see it on. And here it is, a blazing hot pink. It's like, yeah, that's a bright pink for the eyelid. Maybe on the lip, but <laughs> for me, that's a little too pink for my eye. So those are some glitters for you guys. Keep watching to see this fantastic highlighter, this mirror finish highlighter, and it is a jelly. It's going to blow your mind. Keep watching for that. I've got to catch up on this whole makeup filming thing because I've been out of commission for so long because of this. I hate this. I've also got new concealers out to show you guys. New, exciting concealers. I'm always looking for a good concealer. Oh, and I have to, I just am about to explode. I have to tell you guys I had the best day yesterday. My son, who is in fifth grade, he's 11 years old. He's a little tiny guy. He struggles with his self-esteem. He's, you know, he doesn't always think he's good enough. Doesn't usually think he's good enough. He won the school spelling bee yesterday. The whole thing, fourth through eighth grade, he is in fifth grade, he won it. We just spent the whole day just high. I was just high all day, just high. It was the most, it was one of the best days of my life. He, we had studied, yes, we had studied hard, but there were lots of words he had never heard before and he, he figured them out, so uh, I had such a good day. So anyway, thank you guys for watching me and sticking with me through all of my trials and tribulations and all of my sicknesses. And uh, I hope to keep bringing you guys more interesting makeup in this new year. And um, thanks for watching. So back several hours later, the eyeshadow has, hold, has held up so well. No cracking, no creasing, no flaking, no breaking off. The glitter is still intense. The color is still true. I absolutely love these shadows. 